Close your eyes and focus on your breath. Know when you're breathing in, know when you're breathing out, know where you feel the breath. Try to be fully aware of the, the breath energy in the body as it's coming in, as it's going out. As for any thoughts that may go wandering off, just let them go wandering, but you don't have to wander after them. You stay right here with the breath because you're trying to purify the mind. Because a lot of times when, it's go, when it goes wandering off, it's because of greed, aversion, and delusion. And you don't see that these things are operating in the mind because you're traveling along with them. You lose your perspective. So you want to create a foundation here in the present moment so you can gain some perspective in the thoughts of the mind. And you begin to sort them out. You see that some of your desires are actually skillful and some of them are not. The ones that are unskillful you've got to work on. The ones that are skillful you've got to work on. When the Buddha set out one of his summaries of his teachings, it came down to three principles. One is that you don't do anything that you know is wrong. And the second one is that you, if there's something you know that's skillful in your minds in terms of generosity or virtue or concentration discernment, you try to develop it as far as it can go. Now, sometimes we have trouble with this because the mind is, works at cross-purposes. Some things it knows will lead to true happiness, but it doesn't like doing them. Other things it knows it's gonna, that are going to cause suffering, but it likes doing them. So this is where you need to have some wisdom. But the Buddha said that's the measure of our wisdom, is knowing how to talk ourselves out of the things we know are going to be harmful, even though we like doing them, and talk ourselves into doing things we know that are going to be good for us, even though we don't like doing them. And this is where your wisdom gets developed, where it gets exercised. If they're things you like to do and they give good results, that's not much of a challenge. Or things you don't like to do and give bad results, that's not much of a challenge either. It's with the challenging things that you really got to exert your wisdom and discernment to see where the things that you like to say, but you know it's going to cause trouble down the line, you've got to stop. Find some other thing to do or some other way of speaking. Or the things that you would rather not do, but you know that they're going to be good, you get yourself out of bed and do them early in the morning. You know how to talk yourself into doing what's right and out of what's doing what's wrong. This is an important function of discernment. And it's strengthened by this ability to step back from things. Because the third principle, of course, is to deal with things that you really don't know what the results are going to be. And that's one of either one of two reasons. One is it's totally unknowable, and the other is because your delusion is getting in the way. You like to tell yourself that X is going to give good results, but you know deep down inside that it's not, or vice versa. And those are the things you've got to watch out for, and this is where you have to learn how to make your mind a more trustworthy mind. And this is how we do it. We learn how to not go running with our thoughts. So we can step back from them and watch them and be begin to recognize them for what they are. The things that you've identified with in the past may not all be good things. And when you've got a good place to stay with the breath, you want the breath to be comfortable coming in, comfortable going out, have a sense of ease going throughout the whole body as you breathe in and breathe out. Then it's a lot easier not to get pulled into those other thoughts, not to get pulled into the things that you know are unskillful. And when you see that something is skillful, you recognize it for what it is, and then you go, go with it as long as it's necessary. This way you think when you need to think, and you stop thinking when you don't need it, or when it's going to be detrimental. You've got a good place to keep the mind in the meantime, a place where it can see these things clearly. So this is an important exercise, it's just staying with a breath like this, something you should do every day to gain a sense of your direction, gain a sense of perspective. So you can see your thoughts for what they are, and learn how to peel yourself away from the thoughts that you know are going to give trouble, and how to apply yourself more earnestly to the ones you know they are going to be helpful. That's where you get the most out of the fact that you've got a human mind that's able to think and you're able to do things. Well, make sure you think about doing good things and actually do the good things. Otherwise, all this power of a human being that you've got is wasted. <laughs>